Hey guys, Coach D back. We got Boston and Taylor gonna demo finishing school. Um, it's definitely a little bit easier if you got two people because you get more rest. So we'll show you what it looks like. Here we go, Boston, start with your left hand. So for younger guys, it's not necessarily important that you make every shot. It's okay if you mess it, just keep going. Go to the next spot. You gotta have time when it's safe to get out here and try things and fail. Excellent, boss. Totally okay. You're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna be sloppy. Figure out how to get your hand under the ball and up and shoot, perfect. You're gonna get muscle memory as you figure out what works and what doesn't work. It's good that you're laughing a little bit. I like how you're finishing on the strong side every time. Nice, going around at the cone. If you don't have cones, that's okay. You don't need cones. Just there to help guide you. Come on, boss. You got it. You got to finish it. Good. Nice job. Tay, you're up. Oh, no. No, right hand. Don't touch it with your right hand. That's all right. Yeah, if you, you'll figure out. You got to keep your right hand, your right hand out of there. Missed that one. All right, good. That counts. That definitely counts. You got to figure out your footwork, how to get your hand under the ball. All good things to figure out. It's really hard to teach these without just going out and doing it. All right, boss, same thing, right hand. One of my favorite quotes recently, guys, is by Walt Disney. He says, the best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. So if you get out here and just start working on your game, it's a great start to getting better. It's really not that complicated. Good job, boss. Nice. Nice job. One more spot. That's a hard spot too. Good job. Taylor's going now, right hand. Finishing on the strong side of the hoop. That's a tough spot. You can figure out how to spin it in. Really helps figure out control and feel near the bucket. These are all one foot finishes that you would be shooting if you had an uncontested layup. Obviously you'd use two hands. Boss, let's go with your left hand. Now you're gonna finish on the opposite side of the hoop. Nice, good try. There you go, I got you. Left hand. This is when you figure out the footwork and the timing of finishing with a reverse layup. Nice job, way to get it up. A lot of work on your left hand. That's all right, hustle after the ball. That's the toughest spot. You kind of scoop under and rotate the ball. Yeah, spin the ball. Nice. Yeah, that's a reverse spin there. These are tough. Good, one more, boss. All the way to the other side. Nice. Hey, finish on a mate. Good job. Here we go, Tay. Nope, ball's always on the outside as you turn. There you go. No, you weren't. No, you were doing good. Oh, touched it with his right hand. Taylor's got all kinds of mistakes going on in this drill. I just hope he can finish it without going into a laughing fit. Nice job. Scoop it and spin it. Nice scoop, spin, well done. Turn with the ball on the outside. Nice. Last spot. Boston, you're going right hand next spot. Well done. Nice, this one should be a little bit easier if it's working on your, your strong hand, but it's still a challenge, especially for younger players who are just developing this. Good boss. Nice boss, that looked good. 
turn with the ball on the outside. Other side of the hoop. Nice, good job. Last one. Jumped off the wrong foot there. It's all right. Heads up, boss. Nice, Tay. Try and come straight in and then scoop it to the other side. Good footwork. Good finish. Nice work. Last spot. Nice job. All right, guys. Um, that's finishing school. Get a little conditioning. Work on your weak hand. And uh, have some fun with it. Thanks, see ya.